Web3 development. So a uh, quick vocabulary just for people to keep an eye on. Um, you know, atomic design is, the, is a framework for UI design systems broken down into five stages. Atoms, molecules, organisms, uh, templates, pages, components, pattern libraries, gold rush kit, and we'll be getting into all of that today. So consider atomic design as a mental model for UI design systems. Uh, coined by Brad Frost. So again, atoms, molecules, organisms, templates, pages. Atom serves as a, Adam serves as a foundational building block. Uh, a component is a reusable block of code that can stand alone or form part of a multiple uh, UI patterns. Uh, here's an example of some atoms with uh, Instagram, it breaks down the components to its smallest element in the library. Each interactive element is its own atom, a button, image, text, etc. cetera. Uh, but like in nature, atoms only really come to life with applications through a collection of atoms. Which brings us to uh, molecules. Uh, which are relatively small groupings of UI elements functioning together as a unit. They generally have a single responsibility. For our Instagram example, we have a nav bar, uh, image, uh, and the ability to like, comment uh, on the photo itself. No, we'll just scroll. So, no, here we go. Now, organisms are fully formed and rather complex sections of interfaces composed of multiple molecules and many atoms. These organisms are distinct uh, sections of interface. Uh, so I mentioned that you can think of atoms as component libraries, then molecules, and organisms are like a group of components uh, that form pattern, uh, a pattern library within a design system. Uh, in our Instagram example, organisms here are found between clear page breaks, uh, pointing to each UI experience in your feed. Templates are page-level objects, uh, such as component layouts and wireframes, uh, which include atoms, molecules, and organisms. Here we see components uh, come together in the context of a full layout. Uh, in this example, it's our full wireframe. In broader libraries, templates uh, serve as distinct application examples within distinct uh, UXs. In our social media, media example, uh, templates like Instagram and then a template like Twitter uh, in a full UI library. And finally, pages are complete live working templates or apps in a li with live content, each composed of organisms, which are composed of molecules, which are composed of atoms. So how might atomic design apply to Web3 interface? Well, uh, looking at our example, we have addresses, uh, token icons, user icons, and uh, all as the base atoms. User profiles uh, with related addresses and profile names as molecules, uh, or text elements and the related output, in this case, gas fees as uh, molecules. And finally, organisms come together with lists of transferred details of an NFT or bespoke receipts view. You can see all the different transactions, uh, click through on an NFT, you know, those would be a full organism. So if you look at Web3 UI across the ecosystem, here are some common interfaces we see 
for example. Uh, an NFT marketplace will show a list of NFT collections that show a thumbnail of the image and a click through to get more details, often displayed as a full sc scrollable board. Another example are DEX uh, analytics dashboards showing historical prices, liquidity, uh, data, token da uh, top tokens by 24 hour volume, and historical t uh, TVL. Because Web3 is open source and composable, uh, it's easy to spin up uh, similar uh, application environments. However, it's not often easy to scope out the development time to iterate on these. So we're looking at OpenSea, wallets, DEXs, that sort of thing. So here's some less common Web3 interfaces. So the problem is, Users are often limited to finding tooling to gain semantic meaning for their increasingly more complex transi uh, transaction types. And block explorers are not sufficient anymore to visually show these uncommon interactions. Some examples are points dashboards, internal on-chain marketing analytics views, user interaction dashboards, social fees like on-chain Farcaster interaction points, uh, GameFi quests and achievements, dashboard metrics for POAPs, dashboards showing total margin risk in perps exchanges, uh, yield and rehypothecated visual real-time data, lending rates over time relative to current bank rates, and the list goes on. And all of these examples are a pain in the ass to build uh, with a small seed-funded team. So what do you end up having? You end up having a uh, consumer-facing app, where you click the, uh, add your wallet, and then you interact with it and you leave, and you don't do anything more. So it's, it doesn't keep the user actually engaged with your application. There are a handful of common UX uh, interfaces from big teams with lots of funding but there are infinitely more ways to create UI and UX. The point is there, and, and that's the point, is that you, know, you can fork these other uh, UXs or you can spend the time to uh, spend the development resources to really try and build that out and access all of that semantic meaning from your smart contract, or you can do it a little simpler. So here's a little example. It's a receipts view. So 90% of consumer facing applications need an application specific receipts view. I don't care about block height. I care about the semantic meaning that I just did in my transaction. That's what I care about. Please stop sending me to a block explorer to review my TX. Stop emailing me TX links that is tied to these meaningless views in a block explorer. I want clarity of what I just did based off the event logs in the smart contract. And that's me speaking as someone who interacts and has been in the space a long time. I'm tired of it, I wanna see better. Do better. So Gold Rush actually makes all of this possible. Gold Rush Kit is the open source UI kit designed for visually showing live blockchain data using atomic design principles. Each interface built uh, is simply different group of atoms, molecules, and organisms. There's also an open source uh, Gold Rush decoder for all of those bespoke contract specific event logs that are tied to the semantic meaning of your application. So, and then this is specifically designed for uh, for your UX, so it gives you a little bit for your back-end developer and your front-end developer to work, on, to work on together and ship product. So stop pulling your hair out of and trying to build a, some sort of user dashboard or uh, internal tooling to, to see metrics. Uh, try, stop trying to you know, index your own data. Try Gold Rush that sits on top of the Covalent SDK, which is now available in VM for the TypeScript uh, Ethereum developers out there, with support of, for over 200 blockchains. And that is uh, my talk. Thank you. My name is Jane. This QR code goes directly to the repo. Check it out. And uh, if, I, if there's any questions, I'd love to uh, field them.